Right, thanks for joining me once again. Today we have Why Can Protect the Alarm System. Um, triple layer protection, supposedly. Uh, battery backup, which is one. Internet backup, so Ethernet cable. And SIM card backup, so if the power goes down, your internet goes down. So long as you've got the YCAM Plus service, it will still let you know if your alarm has been triggered or not. Um, good idea. It's a shame you can't put your own SIM card in. Um, as far as I'm aware, that's the case anyway. I shall update the description if I'm wrong. It's not the best uh, security seal. Just a little, I don't even need my knife for that. Just a little sticker there, which is mostly open anyway, and there's not one on the top. Now, this is an easy setup, it's supposed to be, which means there's going to be uh, passcode things on the back of. What? Why is that torn? Did I just do that? Yeah, I just done that. Oops. I was starting to think that it was second hand. Right, there's the main unit, which is small, thankfully. It's nice, straightforward. I say straightforward. You have that's where an aerial goes. They just put a fat decap on. I'm not entirely sure why they well, I suppose if you don't use the aerial. Um, but antenna goes there, aerial. Battery off is what that little hole's for. Not sure why you would want to turn that off. Um, Ethernet cable and power. Now I shall cover that bit because there's the important code under there. You have wall mounting holes there, so you can slide it one way or the other way, or not sure why you would want it that way particularly, or that way, but that's the main unit. We have some let's get started instructions. I would say it's pretty self-explanatory. We have sticker, or is it more than one? Would be good if there was more than one because most houses have more than one door. And yes, indeed, we have two. So, right, that's better. Also, what I was after. Um, the remote is small. I was worried that it was going to be big. But uh, let's just pause right there because I've just got to do something because there's been an accident outside. Right, I'm back again. Somebody had just uh, had a bit of an accident. Um, let's not go there though. As I was saying, the remote is nice and small. It's a shame it's got a, uh, can't think of the word, um, ribbony type thing for your keys. It's not the greatest. I would have preferred an actual loop, proper loop metal, just because it's more long lasting. <coughs> right, this, again, small, compared to the other ones that I've got. Um, especially this one, it's like a little pill. You can screw these in. Now, if I cover that, because there's another code there, part of the what makes life easy in the setup, this one also screws in. There is a tamper switch. So if somebody took it off, you will get an alert which is good because not all things come with those 
there, which you will not be able to see, that's the position that this is supposed to be in because oh, you can just about see it. Um, there's two arrow points there, so that's how they're supposed to connect like that, not in the middle. Um, so there's your door sensor here, which doesn't look like the picture wherever it's gone. Now the postman's coming. On the picture, again, not probably going to be able to see it. It's more like a golf ball. Um, the postman's looking at the accident. <laughs> Um, yeah, it's more like a golf ball, but on this, it's not. I would rather it looking like the golf ball, because it just gives it a bit more interesting. Um, there it is. Not too bad. It's small. Ycam written on the side. Uh, just cover the code again. Now this one, strangely, doesn't have wall fixings and there doesn't appear to be a mount so it's just literally 3M tape sticking it up which is a very bad thing because I don't want to just stick that onto my wallpaper and then potentially further down the line decide I want a better alarm or I want to upgrade my alarm to a different system and then just peel it off and tear the wallpaper down or tear the paint off the wall. So I'm not sure if these are holes where you can pop those bits out and you screw it to the wall. I will, in fact, I'll just have a quick look now. I doubt it is. So that's middle points for that. Right, what's going on here? Right. Well, it's upside down for a start. That sticker is upside down. Because that says up. Oh, I've just shown that code. Oops. Um, that sticker is the wrong way around because this is the up direction. So what's that all about? Oh dear. It's all going to, to put. Um, I don't think that is screw points. You might get away with it. I'm going to go ahead and say you could probably get away with at least putting a screw point up there on the... I don't know why I keep doing that. There's a bit there and you could probably put a screw there. Right, now on to the other bits and pieces which is just power supply with an up the wrong way plug UK obviously because that's where we are there's the aerial an ethernet cable which is it's a multi strand so it's better than what you get from Philips 3M double sided tape for the magnetic sensor door window sensor and there is the bit for the motion sensor which is the awkward one now it's a chunky piece but I don't want to just stick that onto my wall and tear the wallpaper down it's really bad on the back of here they should change that and actually put holes for screwing it because why why would you go to the extent of putting screw 
points on these and then not for that. I'd be much more inclined to stick that to the door via 3M tape than the motion sensor. Oops. I don't believe there's anything else in the pack. It's a nice wad of foam to hold it all together. Quite good. But there we go. That is our new alarm. Which now I've got to tidy it all up. Hey, what's going on here? Maybe. Oh, I've had trouble getting the back on there. Right. That is everything. Pull that bit of tape. Right. Fingers crossed that's helpful. You just wanted a bit of a nose at what you get. Um, I will update as to whether I manage to use a screw for that um, and how good the alarm actually is that's the main thing because at the moment I don't have the bell box the external bell box which is something I do need to get sadly it seems to only be solar powered but I'm not sure if there's a workaround for that um, it's also very expensive at £100, well £99.99 I think it is, which is a bit expensive just for an exterior siren. Um, you can buy cheaper, I know that. Uh, thanks for watching, please hit subscribe and comment below. Thanks for watching, see you next time.